I've seen some pretty disturbing movies. The Human Centipede, The Hills Have Eyes, The Emoji Movie, but none were as disturbing as 2004's Fifty First Dates. For those who haven't seen it, Adam Sandler's character, Henry, is in love with a woman named Lucy. But there's a catch. You see, Lucy has amnesia, and every time she falls asleep, she forgets everything that happened the day before. The movie paints itself as a lovable rom-com, where Henry spends every day trying to woo over Lucy. Like, every day is a first date, hence the title, Fifty First Dates. But the movie is actually a horror. For starters, how is Henry trying to f Lucy every day not a crime? Think about it. If I told you a 40-year-old dude was trying to sleep with someone with a severe cognitive disorder, would you not think it's a little rapey? It'd be like if I convinced a girl with Down syndrome to blow me. Like, I shouldn't be praised for being romantic, I should be arrested. Now, it'd be different if they were already in love. Like, if they were together for five years and all of a sudden Lucy gets RKO'd on the concrete, then the movie would be a heartwarming tale of sacrificing for a loved one. But they never met before. Every day, Lucy has no memory of who Henry is, which leads me to the most disturbing fact of this movie, which is how long before Henry starts to mess with Lucy? Really think about the premise for a minute. A guy is dating a girl who literally won't remember anything the next morning, no matter what he does? Huh? I'm sure the men watching are seeing where I'm going with this, but for any ladies tuning in, let me spell it out for you. You see, men are capable of absolutely horrible shit. But most of us don't act on these primal thoughts because there's consequences. Could be moral consequences like feeling guilty of hurting someone or legal consequences like going to prison. Now imagine you don't have to worry about either of these. You don't feel guilt because the person doesn't remember what you did and you can't be convicted because there's no witnesses. Basically what I'm saying is if you're Henry, how can you not mess with Lucy? The temptation is too damn high. Like yeah, the first couple of weeks and months you don't do anything, but we're all human. Eventually you're going to have a horrible day and she's going to wake up next to you screaming, ah! Ah, ah, who are you? Get the fuck out! And you could explain what's going on for the hundredth time, but you're tired and you don't want to deal with it. So you'll start small and say, yeah, bitch, I, I kidnapped you. Now shut up and let me rest before I tie you to the bed. And over time, your frustration is going to build. I mean, she literally doesn't remember anything that happened the day before. Eventually, you're going to start doing some wild shit for the lols. What kind of wild shit, you may ask? Well, imagine Lucy wakes up in a cold, dark room with clown pictures all over the wall. A spotlight appears on her as you say, well, well, well. Look who we got here. Possibly while petting some sort of cat. You'd film it, of course, and show your guy friends the next day. She'd be sitting on the couch next to you, horrified, saying, What the fuck? Is that me? And you'd be like, yeah, don't worry about it, babe. You'll forget about it tomorrow. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. You quite literally have a character you can put in whatever story you want. Tie her up and take her to the jungle. Put some Bluetooth speakers in the bushes and tell her King Kong is looking for his play toy. Or dress her up in 1800s clothes and have your black friend ask for his freedom. Or the classic, put some sugar in Ziploc bags and have her wake up on a boat. Tell her she just robbed a Colombian drug lord and you're her getaway driver. Then have some friends start chasing you on jet skis as you tell them to grab the gun under the seat. She'd be like, what? Well, what's happening? I'm not shooting anybody. And you're like, you shot Eduardo last week in front of his kids. His kids. Now you won't shoot these no names. She'd probably say, what? That, that wasn't me. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You have any idea what they'll do if they catch us? You'd be lucky if they just raped and beat you to death. Now grab the gun. By this point, your friends have caught up to you on the boat and are taking out their weapons. Shoot him! Shoot him in the face! Will fearing for her life make her pull the trigger? Either way, you'll have something to laugh about on the couch the next day. Uh, the moral of the story is, when I look at Fifty First Dates, I don't see a fairy tale of a man trying to impress someone. I see a broken individual clinging onto the one woman that would show him any level of affection. Knowing that he may be able to suppress his primal urges while in the honeymoon phase of the relationship, but it's only a matter of time before he breaks and does something. Something truly horrific. What I'm really saying is, if you're an attractive woman with dementia, please slide into my DMs. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button? Oh, push the button! Push the button!